Hey guys, this video is sponsored by ASEC Accessories. And that means that we've got some beautiful stuff to show you here. All genuine Alcantara phone cases. Beautiful with M or AMG logo or whichever logo you want. So you can customize it as well. It is gorgeous, great quality Alcantara. And if you use the code AutotopNL, you get a 5% discount. If you order more than $60 worth of stuff you get free worldwide shipping so go check them out link is in the description what's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this pov review by autotop nl my name is max and today we've got the mercedes amg cls 53 formatic plus and if you have seen one of my earlier reviews of one of the two cls's we have driven you know that i'm not a big fan of the rear end but i'm happy to report that at least that problem has been fixed today uh, there is a really nice duality to the character of this car. I'll tell you all about that in this review. First, I'll walk around it, show you the spec. Then we'll take it for a drive along this road, do a 0 to 100 km an hour measurement and take it to the Autobahn. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload a new video and follow us on Instagram at autotopnl. All right, so the spec we've got it in. It's a graphite gray car and uh, we've got some 20 inch AMG wheels with Pilot Sport 4S tires by Michelin, uh, which are incredible. Uh, we've got AMG brakes. So these are composite brake discs and we've got these AMG brake calipers, uh, which look pretty cool. Of course, you have seen the CLS in a couple of earlier reviews. So I'm going to cover that quickly. Shark nose, really nice, nice grill. Uh, we've got a little bit of AMG trim, of course, because this is the, the medium AMG. Beautiful roof line. And this is the part I was talking about. So it seems to me that the CLS's rear end, which I really didn't like, can be fixed by two things. Number one, most importantly, is this little gurney spoiler, this little flap. What it does is it sort of cancels out those droopy eyes that the regular CLS has. It, the, the regular CLS, I, I've seen a couple driving in the real world, it just doesn't look good. With this spoiler, it does. It sort of fixes that problem. Uh, the second thing is that we've got this diffuser, this rear bumper with the quad exhaust tips, uh, which are also black, which is also pretty cool. And that sort of fixes the problem of this big slab of rear bumper that it used to have. So I think those two things really fix the rear end of the CLS. And we'll take a look at the engine. Because in here is... You'd think after all the times I've driven these cars that I know where they are immediately, but it's always a struggle. Uh, we've got the inline six three liter engine by AMG uh, linked to a 48 volt mild hybrid system. It has a twin scroll turbocharger and it also has an electric compressor. So it's sort of twin charged. The electric compressor taking care of the lower rev range so when the turbo doesn't really work yet that's when the electric compressor works and the turbocharger taking over after that we've got an amg sport steering wheel which is excellent one of the best steering wheels out there i'll get this phone mount on here so we can do a zero to 100 measurement Alrighty, driving the AMG CLS 53 Formatic Plus. What is it like? Well, as I said, there's sort of a duality to the character of this car. One being that it is an AMG, but it's also a hybrid. And number two is that this car, if you have it in comfort mode and the gearbox and drive, is very, very comfortable. It has AMG Ride Control Plus, air suspension and it has a nine-speed automatic gearbox and those two combined 
in comfort mode mean that it's super, super comfortable. It is really nice and floaty, even with those 20 inch wheels, uh, which is pretty great because a regular AMG or a regular AMG, a 63 doesn't really do that. It's always hard, firm, stiff, it's always on. And this one is a little bit more civilized when you have it in comfort mode, especially the suspension. Okay, so we're going to switch to Sport Plus mode and ESP Sport. We don't have launch control, so I'm just going to brake launch it. All right, it, it thinks it has launch control, but it, because it jerks forward on the shifts. That's a 4.53 second zero to 100 run, uh, which I'm not going to improve on, I think, because it's supposed to do 4.5. So 4.5 seconds to 100 kilometers an hour. That's actually very quick. The top speed is 250, which, which we are going to test on the Ultiman, of course. Uh, and this car also has the AMG driver's pack. That means that it has a top speed of 270 kilometers an hour. But driving now in Sport Plus mode, that means that the air suspension tightens up. It lowers a little bit uh, on higher speeds as well. And it's actually very direct okay and that was a little slide i think if i had my traction control all the way off it would have gone which is nice there's a nice balance to this car and in sport plus mode it really feels like an amg should the suspension the chassis because other than that you know you have that nice inline six sound but it, it doesn't really get edgy. There, there isn't really an edge to it. And that's sort of missing if you want to feel like you're driving a real AMG, a true AMG. Um, but that's also because, as I said, the duality of the car. But because it has that duality to the character, of course you are going to lose some of that edge because it's a 53 and I would characterize the 53 as being a little bit of AMG but still very comfortable and and you know daily drivable but still a little bit of fun the exhaust pops a little bit on the overrun on the downshifts all right so We'll get a speedo going for you guys because we are at the Autobahn. ESP off. Yeah. It, it allows for a little bit of slip. That formatic plus system. Of course, you don't have the drift mode like in the full blown 63S drift mode. Formatic Plus. So first we're going to do it in Sport Plus, shifting manually. Here we go. So we get this little bar over there telling me when to shift and it starts blinking at me. So now, but it is actually very quick. It's nice and steady. You do get some wind noise from the mirrors or the A pillars. But I mean, look at that. It, it, it's no problem. It's very effortless. 270, 72. 76, I think that's the limiter. And it drops down to 73, yeah. So that's not bad at all. It is, it is actually really quick. It feels very nice because you don't really notice it. All right, and as I said, now we're going to do it in regular mode, so in comfort mode, to show you what the difference is because when you drive this car around 
in comfort mode. It is super quiet, for one. It's super smooth as well, because you have that mild hybrid system, which is also the starter alternator. That means that you have sail mode, you have a very, very quiet start-stop system. But it really settles down, it really relaxes you. And now, full throttle, the exhaust is a lot more quiet as well. The air suspension is nice and soft. This is the mode you choose when you have to cover a lot of distance. It's still pretty fast. I mean, you don't... Now, even more than before, you don't notice how quick it is. 260. I mean, you could take a nap in the back if there would be enough space, because it's not that spacious. 275, 4, 3, and it dies down again. 272, 3, that's weird. So it is super quiet. I mean, even more than I was expecting. This is full throttle, you don't hear anything. It's crazy. So I'm happy to report that you know, the, the CLS has been fixed, basically. Um, it seems like they designed this car as an AMG and then removed the rear spoiler and the four exhaust tips and the diffuser. And I thought, oh, well, that's fine. That's just a regular CLS, but it's, it's not good. It, it looks weird. And now as an AMG, as a 53, it looks right. And it goes right as well. Man, this, this thing is fast. I kind of like to drive it in comfort mode because it's so dramaless. Okay, but you guys prefer it when I drive it in Sport Plus, I guess. So I'll just do that for you guys. One more pull. Full throttle. You immediately notice that body roll is a lot less. Of course, little bumps in the road, you feel those better as well. But it's still, I mean, this is a big bump. It's still relatively soft compared to a 63. I like this interior as well. I really like this steering wheel. I like these seats, they are very comfortable, although the seating position could have been a little bit lower. It's a nice place to be this, it's a nice car and I really don't understand why now this car has a 53 because I thought that they skipped the AMGs on the CLS because you now have the AMG GT4 door which also has a 53. So I'm a bit confused but I kind of like this car. So. Not bad, not bad, really nice to drive. I guess you could compare this to, uh, let's say, a Porsche Panamera 4S or something like that, or a Panamera 4E hybrid. And of course, BMW is coming later on with an 8 Series Grand Coupe. I think that's more a competitor to the AMG GT4 door. So it's interesting to see how this segment is going to develop. That's it for this review guys, I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button right here. You can also check out this POV review or go check out this playlist. And I'll see you at the next one, bye.